Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shadowrun Dragonfall, where we are um, just passing by. Uh, we have not been here in a while, actually. Um, it obviously won't be much different for you guys watching, but uh, it's been a little while since I had last recorded. So let's um. Let's level up a little bit. What do we, what do we want to do? Uh, let's see. It wouldn't be bad to level up our decking to level six. At the same time, like getting a better, like being able to equip class A drones is pretty nice. Um, on the other hand, like leveling up charisma probably not a bad idea. Leveling up willpower also would not be a, a the worst idea ever. Um, we don't really need to worry about strength. Um, we're not using melee combat as just us. We could do with having better pistols, better quickness, better uh, you know ranged combat and everything, and then. You get like dodge and stuff as well, but <sighs> yeah, you can actually um, like fast switch between these like tabs and stuff to get to the like sub sub uh, skills. Um, gosh, what do I want? What do I want? Uh, I'm so conflicted. Um. I'm da -da 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 -da. Like, I can get better intelligence, but, you know, I, I think we want to focus more on our, uh, actual, like, combat potential at the moment. Because our, we are the only Decker that I generally take. But, we're not really having a big problem with the, um, Matrix grid. Whereas, yeah, we'll... Do quickness and pistol. Uh, so that should be good. And then we have some party members we can level up as well. Do we want to give her a sniper ability? Fires a discarding Sabo HTI Sabot HTI round that ignores armor completely. Ooh. Five turn cooldown. Or a shotgun that sets targets on fire and strips one armor. Ooh. It would be nice to, um, like, stripping armor is very powerful. Uh, yeah, we'll give her the shotgun ammo mod. Um, blitz can ESP control or decking plus one. Um, I mean, my decking is pretty high, so... Do I want to... Hmm. Interesting. Um... Da, 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 da. Oh! His mark target ability now reduces the target's armor by two. That, that'd be good. Um... We'll give you ESP control. Ooh, we'll probably keep you going with your razors. Yeah, strips armor. Each hit strips two armor. Yep. Therefore, we're going to take that. Uh, and then you can an 8 plus 1 armor or basic nerve bolt now flushes enemies from cover. Sure. We'll take that. Uh, confirm all. Yep. Ta-da! Fantastic. Okay, so now we have we can, yeah, take the U-Bahn to Frankfurt tour and talk to Paul. Uh, we'll talk to Paul first. See what's up. Um, because I think we have a, a potential job in the computer still, as well. Uh, which we may not take, but we're going to talk to Paul anyway. Uh, and I'm going to apologize now. I've probably forgotten all of the, uh, <laughs> voices. Kira, job well done as usual. And the plan has worked swimmingly, I might add. I'm already patched into the Night Errant comm system. If and when they summon their high threat response team. Oh, right. We still have the second part of this run to do. Actually, that that whole like last 
three thing. Like, oh, yeah. As soon as you finish resupplying, I'd recommend heading directly to the Jewel District. Jewel. Jewel. Um, Jewel District, a commercial district shared by a variety of competing corporate interests. As technology controls the largest share of the district, including the major utilities that serve it, you'll find the facility that you'll be raiding there. Concerning the level of security that as technology, as the technology is running, I wouldn't count on medical evac being available on this run. In fact, I'd bet against it. That means that if anyone falls unconscious in there, they'll be buried when the building collapses. Obviously, you can't let that happen. I'd suggest stocking up on medical supplies before leaving the cruise bazaar. Um, noted. No, no medivac on this run. Got it. One last thing, Kira. Frau Mueller sent, a, sent me a message while you were on the OTK run. She says that when you reach the sub-basement of the facility, you'll find a security door. This door's mag locks can be opened via a voice print recognition system. Apparently, Frau Mueller surreptitiously recorded your meeting. She claims that she's added your voice print to the AS Technology database. Um, go on. If our client is to be believed, you'll have the necessary access to open the door. The rest of your team, however, will not. When you reach that door, I'd recommend grouping up. Only you can open it, and there's no saying what you'll find on the other side. Uh, she didn't tell you? Unfortunately, no. Since your meeting, her messages have been erratic. In truth, I'm not sure that she knows. But she was very clear about one thing. You're going to have to get past that door to reach the generators. Go now. We need to strike while the iron's hot. Okay, right. I forgot about that. Uh, um, that everything we've been doing up to this point has... was like a preliminary... <laughs> mission uh right because we were oh, it like i'm saying it's been a while since we um since we've been here it like it won't seem won't seem like anything to you guys but who boy uh where can i i don't know where you can buy medical supplies from around here it's like one of these I wish they were marked as actual shops. Um, show me your inventory. You don't have any. Ooh, you got plenty of grenades, but no. Um, I, I wish they were marked with shops because I don't know. I don't know who actually has a shop, <laughs> and uh, who is just somebody you can talk to. Because again, it's been a little while. Um, like, I, I think I'll be fine. We have med kits on me. I can take somebody with, like, the res kits. Uh, I, I think it'll be fine. Um, so let us sabotage their bloodline research project. Yes. Um, so we're gonna want to take, yeah, her, and him because he's got heal maybe probably uh, although we could take um like we could take lucky strike again she's got heal as well and she's got three med kits compared to Dietrich's zero he's like, he's got more support utility, but she's got a lot of straight, like, offensive capability. Um, you know what? Yeah, we'll take her. And then Iger. That should be fine. We're... Yeah, we're... We'll be fine. We'll be... We'll be, uh, perfectly okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and none of us have any armor. That's, uh... Well, like, innate armor, I guess. Okay, so we all got five armor. And then she's got three and an innate four, it looks like. Okay. Yep, alright. Um, let's go. Let's see what, uh, as technology has in store for us. Um, hello? 
Loading. Look, look. Oh, oh, there we go. As technology, a giant in the worlds of technological and magical research, one of the most powerful and feared corporations on the planet, there are very few places in this world that the tendrils of as technology cannot reach. Germany is no exception. The black glass edifice of an Azi pyramid dominates the courtyard of the Zitadel Spandau, and countless other, more innocuous facilities can be found all over Berlin. The lab that they maintain in the Jewel district is one of these. According to your client, the project that the Azis are working on here is dangerous. So dangerous that she's paying you to bring the entire building down. Okay. Let's, um... Yeah, we're, we're already de decked out. Uh, we could give more... <sighs> was her one of her level up abilities to get that? I think it was. Um, maybe not, though. We don't... Let's see. We don't have any trauma kits. Oh, that's not good, actually. We, we maybe should have... Um, maybe should have bought some trauma kits actually because we don't have any e um okay let's let's give you hyper uh we're gonna we're gonna end up screwing this up actually i bet because we don't have any trauma kits that's um that's that's my fault. The Jewel District is everything that your client made it out to be. Corporate complexes of all description crowd into one another, competing for the district's limited space. Lights burn in all of the windows, but the streets stand empty. No shoppers, no pedestrians, nothing but silence. Quiet out here. A friend of mine did a job here once. Told me that the local wage slaves are all issued efficiency apartments deep inside the compound. Apparently, the buildings are all linked up on an underground tram system. Bed to cubicle in less than five minutes. Most days, the poor bastards don't even get to see the sun shine. She shakes her head. Let's get this over with. Uh, hey, what's over here? Searching the dead drop, you find a package with the telltale markings of the shock villain, shock villain writer. Uh, open research... Open request for research data from as technology. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's just a yeah. Get the project data from as technology. Okay, we can keep our eyes open for that. Hello. Your comlink buzzes. There's a series of clicks as the connection is established. And a moment later, Amsel begins to speak. All right, Kara. That's the eyes technology complex. Just for Thanks. I didn't know that. You'll note the heavy security posted at the front door. Those are As Technology employees. They're dangerous, to be sure, but you could probably take them without too much difficulty. Unfortunately, the Azis have already has, have also contracted Knight Errant to protect this facility. And they're the ones we need to worry about. Just to reiterate, you'll want to keep a low profile on this run. Get in and out as quickly and quietly as possible. Knight Errant keeps a high threat response team on site, and you don't want to tangle with them. Trust me on that. If you need to go loud, give it everything you got. You're going to be reducing the building to a smoldering, smoldering crater anyway. But I'd highly recommend stealth over a frontal assault. Um, we won't start shooting until we run out of words. Good woman. I'd begin by trying to find an alternative path into the building. Something out of sight. Once the facility calls for help, you're going to be on a tight timetable. Can we... Sneak in the side, then? We got a... Yeah. Hey, what's over here? Uh, cheap corporate art. Looks like marble from a distance, but up close is clearly made of injection molded plasticrete. Nice. Uh, okay, we got a guy over here. You gonna stop us? I'm, I'm a... I'm a... I'm an employee. I'm supposed to be here. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. This LTG tech's coveralls are smeared with sweat and grime. A scowl is plastered across her face. She takes a quick glance at you and turns back to her work. Unless you're here to help me fix this panel, you'd better stay the hell out of my hair. Otherwise, I'll call security and have them drag you out. Oh, decking four. Actually, I think I could help you. Looks like your problem's coming from somewhere upstream. See those connectors there? 
Hey, yeah, oh, ah, I, sh I knew I should have leveled up my charisma. <sighs> she doesn't look happy either. Look, I really appreciate the help, but I have to do this myself. I'm already way behind, and corporate's gonna have my ass if I don't get it done before lunch. Um, well, good luck with that. Uh, so, well, that is a shame. We, um, I knew I should have leveled up my charisma. I should have leveled up my charisma. Why did I not level up my charisma? Um, is there another way down here? Can I go anywhere? What's this? Built, Shirley built soy calf cop. What is over here? Hi guys. A human and a dwarf, both in their early 20s, stand huddled in the courtyard. They don't seem to notice your approach. She's been gone a long time, Mira. I'm getting worried, aren't you? She's my girlfriend, Heimrich. Of course I'm worried. But she can handle herself. On the streets, yeah. But against the Azis, I... I just don't know. She'll be okay. Brave words, but her tone tells a different story. It's plain as day that she's worried sick. Oh man, I don't know what to do, Mira. And I still say that messing with the Azis was a bad idea. What else were we supposed to do? That compound of theirs is lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. They got more power than they know what to do with. We need that juice, Heimer. Our solar collectors are garbage. If we can't keep the lights on after a few days of cloud cover, how do you think we're going to survive the winter? I know, Mira. I know. But couldn't we have just bought some second-hand panels? They can't be that expensive. <sighs> We could have, sure, before Danny spent our last handful of Nuyen on those forged key cards. She straightens up, puts on a brave face. She'll be fine. She'll be back any second now. Just you wait. Uh. Hi. Is this a, um. Ha ha ha! Leave it alone. Alright. This Maybe this will be a uh, secondary way in. Hi. She looks up at you, her expression guarded. Yeah, what do you want? Um. Sounds like your friend has gotten herself in trouble. Her tone is sharp. We'll be fine. We don't. What we don't need is a stranger butting into our business. So just go away, all right? Have a nice day. Mira, look at her. That's a professional. She can help us. He takes a step towards you, his arms wide. Please, ma'am, we do need your help. She just doesn't want to admit it. If it's bad for the Aziz, it's good for me. I'll help you out. Um. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Thank you, too. He turns to Mira. Give her the spare key card that Danny bought. She's going to fix this for us. You can see the mistrust in her eyes, but after a moment's hesitation, she begins to fish around in her bag. Finally, she produces a thick plastic key card. She hands it to you. This will get you into the utility tunnel. Danny went down there about a half hour ago. She said she'd be back in ten minutes. Find her for us, okay? Please bring her back safe. I can. Um, I'm... Gonna, is there anything else to find like down here? Uh, nope, that's just kind of the end of the street, isn't it? Alright, well, let's go into this utility hatch. Uh, we got all these like solar panels here, that's cool. Insert the key card. Indicator light on the maglock changes from red to green, there's an audible thunk, and the hatch pops open, revealing a ladder leading down to the utility tunnel below. Cool. So we can get in, uh, our back way here. A back way. Lock appears to be short circuited. Hey. This is cool. So we could have just talked our way in, which would have been nice. Oh, in an instant, you size up the scene playing out in front of you. A young elf dressed in the same shag shabby sheet clothes that the cafe kids were. Danny, cornered with no place to run. A pair of Ags Technology Security drones closing in for the kill. The drones are low-grade, but they're armed, and Danny's hands are empty. She's in trouble, and she knows it. The futility of the situation is written all over her face. An instant later, the drone sensors alert them to your presence. They spin in unison to face you. Intruders detected. Weapons detected. Lethal force authorized. Danny's eyes widen, and she hits the deck. The panic spills out of her in a scream. Look out! Yeah, I mean, I'm... I don't think we really have much to worry about. 
with these drones. Like, just... Yeah, 20 HP. That's... Pff, this is gonna be easy. Bam. And bam. Yeah, see? No problem here. Let's, uh... Have you cap this other one. Um... That's your rifle. I mean... Can we, uh, let's see, do we have anything that does, like, bonus damage? Hmm. How much does, let's see, that's just 14. No, that is the, that's not, all right, well, just take a shot. Bam. It crit. There we go. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that was not difficult. Danny looks you up and down when she's, also, like, just spent half an hour cornered by security drones. When she's finished sizing you up, she puts her hands on her hips and smiles. Thanks for the rescue. It takes a pair to bring a weapon into Azzy territory. Everybody knows that they shoot first if you're packing. I wouldn't have risked it. Uh, <laughs> wasn't much of a risk. Those drones were second rate at best. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I mean, that's... That's literally what my reaction was, but... Uh... <laughs> What <sighs> do I want to be the the jerk in this? Uh... Those drones were second rate at best. Well, you took care of them quick enough. Nice shooting, by the way. You saved me some real trouble there. The drones wouldn't have shot me, but I wasn't looking forward to spending the next week in an Nazi interrogation cell. I've heard stories. The stories are true. She shakes her head. You have no idea how lucky you are. If they'd taken you, you'd have spent the rest of your miserable life wishing you'd been shot. I'll take your word for it. I'm not planning on making a habit of this. She slaps the side of the power conduit with a smile. And I shouldn't need to. Tap's all hooked up and ready. Impressive. Heimrich wasn't convinced you could pull it off. Yeah, well, it's amazing what you can teach yourself to do when your livelihood depends on it. Niger leans in to inspect her work. Looks like a pretty solid connection. Nothing's jumping out at me as being obviously wrong. I'd say you're probably good to go. She straightens, casts a glance back at you. You know, Kira, we could use this setup to our advantage. In theory, we could manufacture a power spike from here, overload the Azzy's entire power grid. Without disabling the generator's safety overrides, it wouldn't cause any permanent damage, but the confusion might give us an opening to get into the building. She shrugs. It could be the opening we've been looking for. Danny's eyes go wide. Whoa, hold up. If you do that, they'll trace it. As technology will find the power tap, and they'll come down on us. Um, tell it to someone who cares. Uh, stakes are too high. We just saved your life. You owe us. Um, we can make it worth your while. Uh, you, mm, you owe us, or we can make it worth your while. I'm not going to just do it. Um, but... Let's see, which one do I want to go with? Uh, you owe us. Yeah, you saved my life, all right, but now you're talking about doing something that'll get all of us killed. Me, Mira, Heimrich, he's got a little sister to look after. What happens to her if the Aziz take us away? Um, uh, needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Um, uh, she breathes a sigh of relief. Thanks. You know, some people say that Shadowrunners are ruthless criminals. Guns for hire, just out for the money. It's good to see that isn't always the case. I'm going to bail on out of here. I've been stuck in this tunnel too long already, and like you said, the others are worried. But if there's ever anything that we can do for you, come by the shop. You'll be welcome at our place for life. Uh, okay, so this isn't a back way in. Um, I'm going to assume that means I can still overload it. Let's, uh, I don't actually even remember why I did a secondary save there now. Um, let's see what this indirect is. Probably, yeah, overload it. Uh, alright, well, we're not going to do that. Not yet, at least. We might do that to get it. I might do that. Uh, if my only other option is literally trying to walk through the front door. Um, Danny looks up at you with a smile. There she is, our hero. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thanks for bringing her back to us. I'm, he's going into Iger voice now, though. Okay. Yeah, 
thanks. And thank you for helping to keep the Azis off of our tails. If Danny had been captured, it would have been bad. She reaches up, grabs Danny's hands, clutches it tight. Worse than bad, babe. A lot worse. She looks down at Mira and smiles, squeezes her hand tight. Anyway, thanks again for the rescue. We all owe you a lot. If there's ever anything that any of us can do for you, you just let us know. Uh, there is? Um, but I can't talk to you. So, um, hmm. Hmm. Alright, can I... There's no other way. Cause I, like, I don't have the charisma to get in the back door. I don't really want to... Alright, can I talk to you? Hi. Certain looking young woman in a, in a uniform of an AS Technology security captain steps forward. An assault rifle slung over her shoulder and she half raises it at your approach. This is a secure facility, ma'am. Show your ID or move along. Um, uh, no worries, ma'am. I was just out for a walk. Walk the other way. She shoulders her rifle but keeps the barrel pointed at the ground. A warning but not a death threat. Now. Uh, uh, look, I lost my ID. Perhaps we could come to some arrangement. No ID, no access. If you really did lose your card, you can take it up with corporate. She waves you away with a rifle. Now move along. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to ruin this, aren't I? Because I can't... Can't talk my way past here. Uh, I guess we're overload, overloading the power grid. Um, <laughs> not... Not exactly what I wanted to do. Hopefully, they won't come back on this trio before, like, during this mission. Um, hi, guys. Don't worry about a thing. It's not like I'm going to be um, getting you guys in trouble or anything. Uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'm bringing the whole building down anyway. What are they going to do, right? Uh, yeah. Alright. Hey, hey, guess what? We're absolute jerks. <laughs> I am the worst. Um, oh. Oh, come on. Are you serious? You goddamn heartless bastard. Oh, no! Ah! Uh, you know we can't fight the Azis. You know what they're gonna do to us. Uh, again, I need Charisma 5. Uh, okay, what you need is sometimes you have to stray outside the lines. Um, by the time the Azis come looking for you, you could be out of here. I wouldn't wait around too long. Typical runner bullshit. I knew we couldn't trust you people. Get the hell out of here. I never want to see your face on our property again. <sighs> Uh, of course. Well, I don't know what benefit I would have gotten out of befriending them anyway. But, hey, what? I can talk to you now. And I can hack the uh, facilities under high alert. Please avoid restricted areas and carry your ID at all times. Um, okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to just go through this door back here. Oh, hi. Yee. As technology security guard and the LTG tech are locked in a heated exchange, they don't seem to notice your approach. So what you're telling me is this. You were working on our LTG box, and then all of a sudden, everything magically overloaded and went to hell, taking our communications along for the ride, and you had nothing to do with it. Look, pal, you, you are a security guard. I am a technician. For the last time, I'm telling you this was not my fault. Yeah, but you were poking around in there. She waves her arms in exasperation. I wasn't even working on the power system, you dolt. How could I have done anything to the power grid? It doesn't work like that. I don't like your attitude, lady. 
I don't like your face, idiot! The argument increases in volume and ferocity. Ferocity. Within a few seconds, they're screaming at one another. Uh, hopefully he doesn't lose his temper and... Ch oh, I can... Let's... For the laughs... Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's take a take a take a take a chat. Uh, the security officer takes a step towards you. His rifle raised. There we go. Yeah. Intruder, show me your ID now. I left it at home. Without a second's hesitation, he turns his head to shout into his comp link. Oh. That was okay. All right. All right. No, that was a bad idea. Um, predictably. All right. So let's load this. <laughs> We're not gonna. No, we're not going to ruin the... Because then there was no point to overload in overloading their power grid in the first place. And we just ruined the trio's thing for nothing. Um, okay, let's... No, we're just going to go into the building. Hey! Yeah, let's go. Fantastic. Uh... The glittering halls of the Aztec Technology facility stand in sharp contrast to the Megacorp's unsavory reputation. Everything in here screams money, from the mirror polish on the floors to the obsidian inlays in the walls. The generators and the Bloodline project lie somewhere beneath their feet. Okay. Cool. So, we are going to call it here as soon as we... Uh, oh, oh, God. Okay. Impressive work, Kira. You've made it into the facility completely undetected. I'm not seeing any comm chatter about a security breach. In addition, in addition, your sabotage of the Aziz power grid has thrown the entire facility into disarray. Even if you are discovered, I would expect any response to be disorganized at best. I've marked an elevator on your PDA. I'll st I'd start making my way there if I were you. It's the most efficient path to reach your objective. Best of luck. Okay. Alright. Um, we're going to call it here. And... When we come back, we're gonna make our way to the facility's generator. And uh, hopefully soon we'll get enough karma to level up our charisma, because wow. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!